This is a Fox News alert. Russia and Ukraine reaching a peace deal. Marathon talks leading to the ceasefire agreement scheduled to start on Sunday. But now the burning questions, will the violence really stop? And which side really won? And why should this matter to you? Former UN Ambassador John Bolton joins us. Sir, um, why should this matter to the American people? Is this going to work? Well, I think uh, as Russia has used armed force on the continent of Europe to change boundaries, this is pretty significant. This wasn't supposed to happen after 1945 and the defeat of Nazi Germany, uh, and yet it is. So this conflict, uh, it's now in the Ukraine. It could spread to other countries, the Baltic republics, the Central Asian republics. Uh, American weakness here is a signal to other potential adversaries around the world. So there's a lot on the line, and uh, I'm not sure it's going well. I understand this ceasefire has been uh, hailed by the White House, but I'm not sure how long it's going to last. And I'm not sure who really won this negotiation either. Well, it, it's interesting that there were leaders of several nations. We weren't there. Is that... Uh, uh, well, that's the most significant point. I well, mean, I was going to ask why weren't we... I mean, maybe, you know... Well, he's leading from behind again, and I think uh, Chancellor Merkel of Germany, I think this is a bad deal for Europe, it's a bad deal for the Ukrainians, it's a bad deal for, for us, but I think the reason she uh, was prepared to cut this deal is because she knows that for the next two years, she can't count on any effective help from the United States. So she's going to cut the best deal she can and hope that it's, uh, it doesn't turn into a debacle. All right, today, new violence in Yemen. Uh, we evacuated our embassy yesterday. The government fell short a couple weeks ago. Uh, what's going on in Yemen? Well, I think the country has disintegrated. I think uh, like Somalia, Libya, Iraq, uh, Syria, the list goes on and on. I'm not sure it's ever going to come back together. Uh, I think we've now got two threats, two critical threats emanating uh, out of Yemen, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, which has been there, and the Houthis that now control essentially the northern part of the country and the capital, Sana'a, are an Iranian surrogate force that is at the back door of Saudi Arabia and the other oil-producing monarchies. I think the risk of the Iranians now raising trouble among the Shiites in the eastern province of Saudi Arabia, where all the oil is, in Bahrain and elsewhere, uh, means we could have a real crisis in short order. It, was this inevitable or was there a misstep by, the, by uh, President far, Obama? It was far from inevitable. I think we, we never should have uh, uh, allowed the government of President Saleh to be overthrown as a result of the Arab Spring. He was not my ideal of a Jeffersonian Democrat. He actually was elected, according to the State Department, in a free and fair election. And the consequence, when he went, has been anarchy, although ironically now he's allied with the al Houthi, uh, who are uh, sworn enemies of us and the Saudis. It's a very confused situation, but there's one common theme, which is the dangers and risks to the West from terrorist activity, whether extreme Shia or extreme Sunni, uh, coming from Yemen is very high. And uh, in a way that we thought that President Obama thought that it was a, help, a success in September. Um, but that's turned out not to be so uh, I think, actually, it is a success as far as his policy goes. That's the bad news. Ambassador, thank you. Nice to see you, thank sir. You. And straight ahead, porn. It's the worst kept secret in Washington. Government workers watching porn on the clock and on computers. Guess who paid for it? You did. Yes, lazy federal employees stealing your money to watch porn. On the record, investigates. That's next. Plus, Green Bay Packers great Brett Favre. Is he sparking a showdown between Packer fans and Packer management? Is Packer management interested in themselves or in the fans? I'll tell you what I think off the record, of course.